moment to boost AI search and discovery, where we will be outlining our latest innovation, the predictive product bundles. Our latest feature offers unlimited bundles, dynamic placements on search results, widgets and product pages, customizable layouts to match your theme, flexible discounts, and soon AI-powered suggestions. This feature is built with the merchant in mind. It will increase your average order value by targeting high intent customers and cross-selling and upselling them with relevant products and discounts throughout their entire search journey on your store, all by leveraging real-time data to optimize your overall store performance. In this video, I will walk you through how you can set up predictive product bundling within the Boost AI search and discovery dashboard, and crucially, what this can mean for your online store and to help you grow. If you head to the Boost AI search and discovery dashboard to set up the predictive product bundling, you're gonna to want to head to the top navigation bar to the recommendations section. And then within this drop down, you can see predictive bundles. Click through to this, and this is the page where you can set up, customize, edit, and activate your predictive product bundling. So it is important to note that we do have a user guide as well. There is a article outlining how you can create a bundle, all of the requirements, and then a step-by-step -step process. However, if you prefer to watch along, please do so. Let's head back to the dashboard. So first things first, let's have a look. It's asking us to grant access. So you should see this when you first land on this page as it wants to read and write your discount data, which is necessary to be able to create the predictive bundles and display the discounts in order to set up the bundles themselves. None of the data is stored, so please don't worry about that. But without the permissions, we cannot allow the feature bundle discounts to work. So make sure you allow the permission here, click update. And as you can see, you've had your permission granted successfully here. It will take a few minutes for this to load as the data has to sync for your store. So whilst we are waiting for it to load, let's just talk about the requirements that you need to have to ensure that you allow the predictive bundles to work. So you need to have the latest app version of Boost AI Search and Discovery, which is the Turbo version. As well as this, the plan type that you need to be on should be basic and above. You can't access the predictive bundles on the freemium plan type. So there are a few things. And remember, these are outlined in this article here. So if you forget, please have a look here at the version requirements and the plan requirements. Also a little bit about why choose the Boost predictive bundles here as well. And then it goes on to suggesting how to create the bundle. So let's just wait for a second for this data to sync. Once it has successfully synced, it will say the go to bundles list. Simply click through here. And as you can see, we are yet to create any bundles. So that is what I will show you. You can simply click this add new bundle section and this is where you are setting up your bundle settings so you can search for products you have a maximum of four products to select and a minimum of two products to allow the bundles to work so just go through here and select your products you can also search for them here manually then click add products once you're happy with that the next step is to set up the discount type, whether that is a percentage or amount discount, and then you can set up the value. So let's just say here 20%. And then finally, you can choose where you want to display this bundle placement, whether it's on the instant search widget or the search results page. It is important to note that the bundles will display according to the search terms where the product in the bundle is shown in the search results and the bundles in the instant search or the search terms are also arranged based on their creation slash updating time. So the most recently created or updated bundle will be prioritized and each placement will display only one bundle, even if multiple are activated at one time and if they match search terms. So if multiple bundles are added to the cart page, the bundle with the highest discount amount will be applied. So once you're happy with the placements of your bundles as well, you can set the bundle status, whether you want it to be paused upon creation or active, you can set that up here, then click next to the next stage. Step two in setting up your bundles is the bundle design. So you can edit this and preview this from this section. So you can change the header to be more bundle specific. You can change the style of the customization elements, the header color and the text, the font. And you can save the bundle title settings as a default for classic bundles if you want to create multiple. 
Also, you can preview these on the different pages. So this is a preview of what the bundle is going to look like on the instant search widget here. And then we can click this button and have a look what the bundle is going to look like on the search results page. So as you can see here, we've got the four products that we selected and then they've got the discounted price and the ads bundle to the cart here. So it's a great way to preview and customize this to make sure it's as on brand as possible. And you can preview this in both of the widgets sections that you've asked to set this live on. So once you're happy with that, click save and next to move on to the next step. Now this is the final step of the process. You want to make sure that the widgets that you have created for the predictive product bundles to go live. So you have to enable this on your live theme. So as you can see here, you have to make sure that your live theme is turbo version 2.3.0 or higher before adding the bundle. And as you can see, the boost core is required here as mentioned earlier. So as long as that's enabled on your live theme, you can set these live. And as well, you have to add the bundle widget. For the bundle in the instant search widget, you need to make sure that the instant search is enabled on your live theme as well. So in order to display these on the app, in order to display the bundles in the store, you need to make sure that you have enabled the app embed as mentioned. So once you're happy with that, click I'm all done. And you can see we have the first predictive products bundle widget here. You can see the name that you labeled this earlier, the status, the widget ID and the placement here. So as you can see, it's in the instant search widget and the search results page. Also, I will mention on this action section here, you can edit and manage your bundles here. So you can edit them here at any time. Make sure that you go through the same process as we have just discussed. Also, you can pause your bundle if you don't want it to be live so that we'll stop applying these discounts in your store. Hit pause and you should see here that the status of the productive product bundle is paused. So that's also important to note. And if you no longer want to use one of these bundles at all, you can delete it from here as well. Now, just before I go, it is important to mention that we do have a separate walkthrough video on how to set up the Boost Turbo theme. You want to head to your app preferences and make sure that your app version is the latest version, Boost Turbo, so that you can use this predictive product bundles feature. If you do have any questions regarding anything mentioned in this video or the predictive bundles feature itself, please head to live chat in our dashboard. Simply drop us a message here and we'll get back with you as soon as possible. Thank you.